Hello, and welcome to today's episode of Rocket Fuel, your daily update of everything that's happening in the Rocket Pool community. Um, yesterday I got some, uh, maybe yesterday or the day before, I got uh, some advice from someone who was saying that um, a nice way to start the episode would be to give a quick recap of what happened yesterday. So yesterday we had um, the update about the um, ODAO votes being all reaching quorum. We had... Um, a really good discussion in trading about who should and shouldn't be a staker um, and run nodes. Um, another great discussion about um, commission rates for our ETH going forward. Um, and Jasper, sorry, Joe responded on Reddit to concerns about flash bots and MEV boost. And Jasper explained the our ETH ribbon finance pool and amazing rewards they have right now. So that was the stuff from yesterday, but Let's get started with today's stuff. So, um, August 23rd is the deadline for all the client teams to have their final merge ready updates um, available. And those updates have already started coming through. I think it was Teku who was first. And then we got um, Lighthouse and Prism and just Nimbus is left at the moment, I think. But, um, as those messages have been coming in, there's this one message here from Lighthouse that was really nice. So let me read it out to you all. It says, this release marks the culmination of over four years of hard work by Lighthouse contributors. Upgrading Ethereum to proof of stake has been an incredibly complex and challenging task requires hundreds of individuals to collaborate across borders, time zones and languages. This upgrade will do no less than change the world. It will show the blockchain industry that we can all do better. It will show the world that Ethereum is willing to risk its own existence for the sake of this planet and those who inhabit it. To everyone who has contributed to Lighthouse by running test nets, reporting issues, building documentation, supporting users, writing code, this is your success. You built Lighthouse and you upgraded Ethereum. So it's a really sweet, like really heartfelt message from the Lighthouse team that like hit a lot of people in the fields. So. It was really nice to wake up and read that this morning. Um, I used to run Lighthouse um, on my node um, until it got like a big percentage of of people using it on Rocket Pool. So then I switched to Nimbus instead, and that was the famous almost slashing incident that I won't go into too much detail at the moment. But um, yeah, Lighthouse was a really great client. They're all really good clients. All the teams have been working so hard to get ready for the merge and we're so close now <laughs> it's going to be so great this is so exciting i just saw a comment on twitter and someone saying about how it feels like you're counting down to days to like christmas or a holiday and it really does feel like that it's like it's really 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 special so um that was a really nice message to wake up to from the lighthouse team so great job everyone um this next uh, discussion happened in trading um today um so bossy was asking about um the smoothing pool and people were kind of talking about what you need to do and what you don't need to do about getting the smoothing pool set up. So basically, once Redstone goes live on the 29th, then that'll give Rocket Pool node operators the chance for setting up, opting into or out of the smoothing pool. But um, more about just, like I'm just using this as an excuse to talk a little bit about what the smoothing pool is. So... Um, being a node operator on Ethereum, uh, sorry, um, validator on Ethereum, uh, the rewards aren't smooth. So what does that mean? That means that you can get a proposal today and you can get another proposal tomorrow and then you don't get another proposal for eight months and then you get three in a week and then you get a sync committee and it's just kind of all over the place about when rewards come in. So the smoothing pool works in a way that kind of takes all, all, the, all the stuff that's coming in and kind of smooths it all out so your rewards are kind of evened out across the whole operator set um a couple of months ago ken did some really good research on uh, who should and shouldn't join the the smoothing pool and it turned out that as long as there are more people in the smoothing pool than the number of mini pools that you run you should join the smoothing pool so um, if you've got a hundred mini pools and there's a hundred and one um, pools in the staking, the uh, smoothing pool, you should join it. So 
I feel like almost everyone is going to join the smoothing pool, which is going to be really great because um, it just means that we'll be a lot more predictable about the rewards that we're getting and how frequently we'll be getting them. And it'll remove a lot of the, the luck aspect of it because there's literally 7,000 mini pools being run on Rocket Pool right now, something close to that number. Um, so it'll, it'll smooth it out really nicely. Um, what won't happen, of course, then is, you know, you won't get that lottery ticket situation where, you know, there's 400,000 lottery tickets and every year there's like 50 or 60 blocks that have hundreds of ETH worth of tips in it. Um, that's like a nice idea of like a no loss lottery. So by having a Ethereum validator, you have the chance of getting that lottery, you know, winning that lottery. But um, someone worked out the chance of winning that were like a million to one or something. So it's really, really rare that, you know, you're going to you're going to get those special blocks. But by joining the smoothing pool, you'll get a fraction of those special blocks, which is also really great. So um, I just want to talk about the smoothing pool for a little while because I'm really excited to join it. And I think um, it's going to do some really good, good things for the for the rocket pool community because no, like it's just not offered in the same way by anyone else at the moment, as far as I know. And it's definitely not solo staking. So yeah, it's re going to be really great. Um, for those of you hanging out in trading, kind of know this about Maso, but um, others don't really know this. But he's a total tease. And because he's such a big and prominent member of the community and he's such a large whale, like he does get insights into things that us mere mortals aren't privy to. So um, uh, Kimo wrote this comment saying, no large buys all day, sad face. And then Maso replied by saying, just wait with a, with a wink. So like we as a community have kind of like gotten into the, into the, habit of like listening to Maso when he like drops some of these little teasers he just can't help himself that's what I think it is he, he literally just can't help himself he's like I don't want to like assume but I feel like he's like an overexcited kid at times who just kind of like has to share his good news so when Maso says just wait with a wink I feel like um there might be something coming up soon so hopefully you know some mega fund is buying a million <laughs> rocky pool tokens on the market by but um that that's that's the inner degen kind of hoping for that but um i feel like uh the last couple of days in the community have been like really chill and everybody i think is just kind of waiting to see what direction the eth price goes in um if you look at moon's um um charts he's basically saying that there's a chance that we go back to the low 1000s somewhere around 1400 maybe even as low as 1280 um and there's also like there's a slightly less of a chance that you know we bounce up from here and head into the 2000s um moon's charts are quite optimistic in that he thinks that we'll be in the 2000s quite soon however he's not sure where we're going to bounce from before we get there so um, I feel like when the price is up and stuff is happening, then then everybody's kind of like talking about stuff. But right now it's a little bit quiet. So um, I've just focused on those few things in, in trading today. But um, I'm going to wrap it up here. Um, I hope you all have a lovely rest of your day, wherever you are. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.